Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. We're in downtown Kedo Papos. I tell you what, it's a very, very strange day today. It's blowing a gale and at the same time it is 37 degrees. Yes, you heard me correctly. There's a bit of a Sahara storm blowing into Paphos and it's going to be here for a couple of days. But of course, if you're a tourist, you're probably loving it like crazy. Now, without further ado, let me introduce you to the Dancing Queen and of course the most beautiful woman in the world. Her name is Miss Archin Grassi Vian Labo. Hello everybody! How nice to see you again and again. And if I shout, please stop me. Of course, I will never ever shout on you or on you, Mr. Paul, or, or on someone else, but I have to raise my voice up um, opposite the wind because the wind is taking away all my lovey-dovey words towards you. It is indeed. We are in the rear street of the downtown. Papas Promenade and there's a lot of building works going on a lot of improvements the pavements very very rapidly now are coming to completion and this little cut through here to the rear of that little shopping centre and of course to the promenade has now had its coat of the black stuff and this piece of pavement has all been laid into concrete and all they've got left to do is do that little bit of grouting up so then it'll look like that and I tell you what, it's going to be a great, great place for you to walk around when you're on your way to the Blue, 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 Blue Mediterranean Sea. Now, there's one or two shops and businesses along the way, and we're going to talk you through one or two of them. And you never know, you might need them when you're in Papos. The only thing I really noticed just now, Mr. Paul, because how many times we've been here, only God knows. I noticed that a veranda, not this not veranda. That veranda, no, no, no. I'm talking about that top floor veranda area and I've never ever noticed because when you're on this street you always try not to be um, around by car over or tripping and, over yes or yeah and you never think about what's on the top floor but remember that building is not very new and this top floor has been here for ages. a long long time and of course that is the Basilica Gardens Tourist Resort and of course one or two people have got a soft spot in their heart for that place especially if your name is Lady Deborah O'Rourke and of course there is a Sir William in your life and I'm pretty sure that you'll be coming and checking into the Basilica Tourist Resort very very soon indeed. The first little business on the block is this one and it's called Theo's it's a jewellery seller and of course it's got its own workshop and if you're a little bit short of the Spondoolies well Archie and Christina Booth will guide you to the ATM. They have got bespoke jewellery, gold jewellery, silver jewellery and they'll do watch batteries, watch repairs and of course on top of that they will repair that broken necklace for you and they'll do it in house so it won't be away for very long. Priscilla Booth has found a new friend. Have you eaten now? Have you eaten your lovely beautiful cat, ginger and rice? Hey, he doesn't want to He's going to somewhere to get his I tea. Know. I know that he likes jewelers because look at him. Well, he seems to have fallen in love with an icon or two, and of course, they are very, very much in theme because, of course, Easter is upon us. So let's keep going and show you one or two of the businesses in this particular part of Paphos, and one or two of them might be of use to you. This one is called Touch of Beauty. It's a wellness center and a beauty bar. And of course, there's an awful lot of things going on there from face packs and those kind of things. And we're meeting a superstar in downtown Paphos. Yes, sir. Yes, how are you doing? You all right? Brother. You having a good time? Yes, sir. Are you going to work or are you going yes, shopping? Yes, I'm, I'm going to work. Going to work? Where do you work? Uh, Shah Indian Restaurant. Ah. Cyprus, number one Indian restaurant. What's it called? Uh, Shahi Indian Restaurant. Is that that one just over there? Yes, there. That one just over there. So if you want a great, great meal, this okay, is the place to come. Also. Okay, okay. Uh, we have open from we, 5 o'clock to 10.30. We, uh, do you want us to come inside and yes. show? He we will. Like tomorrow? Yes. What time are you in work tomorrow? tomorrow? We open 5 o'clock to 10.30. Okay, so tomorrow, yes. 5 o'clock, we'll come and do a special video on your restaurant. Okay. Sure. We will. Of course. It's Our a deal. Is there. It's that one just Shahi over there. How would you say it again? Shahi, Shahi Indian restaurant. Shahi? From there. You yeah, take yeah. left, yeah. and there is our restaurant. Yeah. Yes, I know where it is. Yeah. That's the one where Marika once made a mistake and said, yeah. shit food. 
That's the one, if you remember that. It's the street food restaurant, and it is one of the best Indian restaurants in downtown Kedapapos. And tomorrow, as you've heard, we've been invited live on camera to go and make a special. It's the restaurant where I said instead of street food. Yes, that's what I've just said, that restaurant, yeah. I, uh, later on, I apologize that I made a mistake because it was not uh, typed uh, letters. It was written like uh, uh, another letter. Yes. And instead of street food, uh, I, I did write. Yes, you did indeed. Now, back to the businesses on this little strip as you go around to the Paphos Harbour. If you want some lace, there's all sorts of bits and bobs in there, by the way, but they're all manufactured in Cyprus. They're not from China. And they kick off at around about seven euros and they crescendo up to around about 60, 70 euros for a full-sized lace embroidered tablecloth. And here are some little gift sets. See, look at this. This is you a know, bathroom gift towels. set, is it? Tea towel and what? It's like a bread well, basket. Put it, put, it, put it the right way round for a start, Christy Yeah. So it's a cotton, basket cotton. set with three pieces, napkins and a wooden rings. Okay, so they're yeah. napkins and rings with a nice little box. A nice little gift time. and they are only, there it is, in various different colours, €6.95. Now, in my book, I think that is an absolute bargain. So if you've got a special person in your life, perhaps an auntie, that could be that little gift for her. Now, if you want a bit of fragrance in your life, next door to that is this little place, and it's called the Perfumery, the First Scent. And if you look very carefully in the back there, there is the beauty known as Miss Faye. And there are one of the two gangster cats sitting there making sure that she's doing all right. So if you want a special bottle of perfume, go and see Miss Faye. Next door to that is a very, very popular shop in downtown Pathos, and it is expanding and doubling its size. It's called April, there it is, and that's its little shop, but now it is taken next door and they're gonna knock it through and it's gonna be a gigantic shop, specializing in linen and those obviously, kind of things. Obviously, they're very busy, quite busy, um, busy enough in order to extend their shop and make it bigger. So when it's bigger, because they have so many things and so much interesting uh, for the ladies especially. Now, by the way, they've got a few things for the men, uh, sort of belts if I noticed well, because I cannot miss things like that. And uh, that shop before with the tablecloth, I loved one uh, Napkin, uh, napkin throw on the throw under on the table. under the lamp it's amazing uh -huh. it was black in uh, beige color but how you call this embroidered yes. embroidered so this could be that perfect street for you if you're looking for something as a gift or perhaps a token when you come to Paphos. Next door to that is the Borsa Bella. This is the upmarket boutique. And of course they sell all sorts of things from suitcases in some rather wicked colors. They've got women's clothes, they've got men's clothes and belts and they even sell things like fridge magnets. So don't be thinking you've got to spend a fortune when you come to the Borsa Bella. What's she looking at now? This is Nigel. That's Nigel. I don't think Nigel. it is Nigel. It's not Nigel. I understand what you mean. It's his kind of shirt. His kind of shirt, and I know he totally loves uh, linen as well. Yes, indeed. That's Lord Nigel of the Big Guns. And, of course, he's coming to Paphos very, very soon indeed. And if he's coming to Paphos, that must mean that Lady... Oh, so, so sweet Caroline is coming as well. They'll be on a big bird, jetted into Paphos, and booking into the Alexander the Great Hotel very, very soon indeed. There it is, up in gold right in Borsabella. And this entrance shows you some of the bits and bobs that are a little bit cheaper, like flip-flops, fridge magnets, little dangly things that you can dangle from your mirror. Next door to that is a barber shop. So, you know, a lot of these gents come to Pathos and perhaps you've got a spectacality of a beard indeed. And if you want that beard trimmed or your eyebrows done, or perhaps a shave, or perhaps just a trim. This could be that special little barber shop for you on the way to the downtown Ked of Paphos promenade. What a shame I don't have beard. I would come and try them. You would come and try them. There we are. Let's get Christina Booth to grow a beard or two and then we'll take her in there and see how much they're going to charge us. Next door to that is a genuine leather shop. Very, very old shop that's been in Paphos for many, many years indeed. And they specialise in the real thing. So if you want a real leather belt, real leather shoes, a real leather bag, that should be that shop that's waiting just for you. Now, if you want a bit of property, 
on your travels. There you go. Aristo have got a property seller shop and they're waiting for you. There's a travel agent next door to that. And perhaps if you're into a bit of vaping and perhaps you want that special flavour, well, there it is, Vape Express, and it's waiting especially for you. We're going to say thanks for watching. And if you do like this kind of video, drop in the comments. And of course, we'll make more of them, especially for you. Why not go and hunt us down on the Buy Me Coffee platform? That's where you could gift us that virtual coffee or two as a thank you, as a gesture of goodwill. And I'd like to say a big, big shout out to our latest superstar member on the Buy Me Coffee platform. And of course, that is Sir Mark of the Peacocks, his girl, Lady Cheryl. And of course, the couple of princesses, that's Princess Amelia and Princess Abigail. Appreciating all your effort, every help, whether it's little or big, it doesn't matter. But uh, the way that you do it, the way uh, we understand that you really want to push the channel uh, more and more further down, and for which we are very, very, very thankful. Thinking of you all the time and understanding that if wasn't for you we wouldn't be here and we wish you were here every moment every day every hour because the weather is just amazing you're melting down making a sunbathe as you walk in going into different uh, bars and restaurants to enjoy the service and the stuff they sell we're loving you to be and kissing you from the bottom of our two and a big big thank you to Sir Michael and of course his girl Amanda for those couple of coffees on the Buy Me A Coffee platform and a massive, massive thank you to our girl in downtown South Wales. That's our Lady Whitney who likes a little bit of brightness and of course Lord Jason for those five coffees. Yes, when one is not enough, when two is not enough, when three is not enough, when four is not enough, we thank you from the bottom of our two hearts. Five coffees and we'll be going to sup on them very, very soon in a restaurant courtesy of you. Thanks very much and of course we'll see you again very, very soon somewhere in and around downtown Kenneth Baffles.